Hi, Erichibo, Erichibo.com, and today I'm going to present you this lens, the 7 Artisan 28mm 5.6. I've tested it with the Kodak Portra 400 on my Leica M4P. So let's speak about it. Let's start. Although this is for a Leica M mount, you can obviously, using an adapter, use it on other cameras. Uh, normally uh, mirrorless cameras, full frame, because this is thought for full frame, although you could put it on an APS-C camera or a micro four-third camera, but if you want to have the same uh, angle covered by this focal length, obviously, the logically, uh, logically it would be to use a, a full frame camera, but you can use it on other also. So no problem using any other camera using an adapter ring, okay? So what do you get? Well, in the package, you get this box and this. This is fantastic. This is a small, uh, like a uh, leather type, uh, leather coin. It's not really leather, but it looks like, or leather look-alike, okay, uh, pouch in here. I really like it because you can place the sunshade here and the lens here. So I really like that it can fit uh, all together in this. In the box, what do you get? Well, you open the box. First, you get uh, a small uh, instruction and warranty card, okay? Then in there, you will get the lens itself, itself the sun hood, okay? And one thing I want to uh, really uh, stand out, because many people uh, get scared when they see that, a screwdriver, okay? Why do they get scared? Because I think some people are not really uh, nice, uh, with really nice intention. They try to uh, always uh, say that when there is a screwdriver, it's because there is a problem. And this is not fair. I've tried this lens, I've tried other lens uh, that come with a screwdriver for uh, M-mount cameras, okay? And I had never any problem. So why do they put a screwdriver? Well, this is really, really simple. Here you have a range finder, and it needs to be coupled to the lens, okay? If you have a Leica lens, and it's not properly coupled, you have to send your camera and your lens to Leica. It takes time and money, so they adjust it, okay? But this uh, brand, alternative brands, that the clever idea to uh, put a screwdriver, explain to you how to do it, so you can save a lot of time and a lot of money if you need it to adjust the range finder, okay? You don't actually adjust the range, range finder, you adjust the lens to the range finder. But as I said, I never had the problem, and this time neither, okay? So really, this is nothing to worry about. If you are using a digital camera, like a Leica M uh, Digital, it's really easy because you can check on the screen the uh, picture you just made and see if it's really in focus. But if you have a uh, film camera, you don't need to spend money on a film to make sure it is properly focused, okay? What you have to do is open the back, place uh, some uh, uh, see-through paper, like see-through like uh, with some kind of opacity, you know, sometimes you use it to to, to draw and uh, you see through, okay, I don't know the name of that, okay? You place a paper where the film will go, you get a magnifying glass, and you check that it is in focus to infinity, all this. So before spending any money on the film, you can already know if the lens is properly adjusted. If you need it, then you would adjust it. But as I said, most people, I think 99.99% of people never had to adjust anything. So it's not fair that some people start to uh, really uh, ban these lenses, telling don't buy them because I have a screwdriver. This is not fair. These screwdrivers save you a lot of money and a lot of, lot of time. So uh, you should not worry about that, but worry about if the quality of the lens is what you expect, want, and uh, if your budget corresponds to this kind of lens, okay? Well, one thing, uh, for uh, several videos now, I've been asking people if they could subscribe to our YouTube channel. Many people reacted in a really positive way. I really thank them for, for this. And uh, uh, really, it really helps me. Uh, it doesn't make me more money, okay? A subscriber doesn't make you money. But it makes that many brands, like Seven Artisan, for, for example, uh, take you into account to send you a gear so you can review it. So it's a plus for the channel. It helps me answer also the question many people uh, ask. They say, uh, what do you think about this or that? so it's always better if I've got the product I can show it so if you have not done it yet please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so a physical uh, visit this is fully metal the cap is fully metal the lens is fully metal so here I'm going to get uh, this this is the lens hood okay the sun hood you place it uh, I place a logo with logo okay but it could be placed anywhere I think it looks like and you push okay and this is probably the only thing I don't really like okay why because it seems that there is 
I'm not sure, I cannot confirm, but it seems that there's some kind of small rubber here inside, okay? So it doesn't scratch the metal, but still, I think with time, uh, the, the rubber will wear out and you will start to scratch the front here. So uh, the thing is, when the sun hood is on there, uh, you cannot place the lens cap anymore. So obviously, we'll take it on, take it out very often, I think, probably, okay? So I think that will wear out the, the, this part, okay? But I'm not sure. I don't have it long enough to confirm, okay? So uh, the filter size is 35.5 mm. Uh, there are filters for this size, okay? I don't really like it. I prefer 39 mm. It's more common to find filters anyway, but well, that's the way it is, okay? Here you have uh, the uh, aperture ring, okay? It goes from 5.6 to f22, and you have uh, stops, clicks on one stop increment, okay? Uh, two things. I think the clicks are not uh, firm enough. It's easy to move them, okay? It really uh, doesn't stop pretty much. It clicks, but not as uh, strong as I would like. And I think they had uh, space enough to have half clicks, okay? Uh, half stop is uh, welcome sometime, okay? So I think they could have put uh, half stops. Here, if we look at this tab, this is the focusing tab, and uh, you can uh, lock it on infinity. I actually reviewed the TT Artisan 28mm uh, 5.6, and it locks automatically when you get to infinity, and sometimes it bothers because you accidentally uh, go that far, and you have to press to lock it out, okay? In this case, uh, this is you who decides when you lock on infinity or not. I prefer this, okay? Here you have the distance scale in meter in case you want to do uh, hyperfocal and uh, well, about uh, that's it. So uh, many people say uh, from 5.6 that's not really luminous. So I think it's important to uh, see what is this lens for and who is it for, okay? This is similar, the idea to the 28mm uh, 5.6 by Leica, although the look is really different. The TT Artisan is a really a really a copy of the Leica. This one has a different look. It may, uh, you may prefer this one or the other one. Doesn't matter, it's your taste, okay? But the reality is that 5.6 is really logical. It's thought for street photography. And when you do street photography, you normally want some depth of field. And it's really usual to work on, five point, uh, on F8, F11, or more than this. So it makes sense to start only on 5.6 and this way you get a lot more compact lens, okay, really more discreet. Second, uh, you are not paying for apertures you will never use, okay? So for me, it makes a lot of sense to have this, uh, starting at 5.6, no problem with me, okay? So now I'm going to show you a picture, give you my opinion, maybe some more uh, technical details. The aperture has eight blades. Uh, I think that's, uh, well, uh, okay. Uh, you're not using this kind of lens thinking always on a really creamy bokeh because at f8, f11, this is not really what you get anyway. So I think uh, eight blades is fine. You have uh, six elements in four groups and the minimum focusing distance is one meter. Uh, some people will say, yeah, but there are some Leica lens that start at 70 centimeters. Yeah, that's right. But don't forget that uh, this uh, lens by Leica, the 50 mm, 50, uh, 28 millimeter 5.6, is a remake of an old lens and it kept uh, this one meter i think and anyway tt artisan and seven artisan also kept there so for me it's not a problem and that kind of lens you normally use it for street photography you don't really need to have sentiment 70 centimeters so for me that's fine no problem so let's speak about the uh, the optical quality if we speak about sharpness at 5.6 uh, the center is fine uh, sharpness is okay that's fine but i would say on the border it's a bit soft okay so uh for street photography this is not really a problem if you uh, close to f8 no problem anyway okay but uh if you need to have maximum aperture you will see a bit soft so i think for landscape that could be a problem street photography i don't think okay and uh landscape anyway normally you don't work at 5.6 probably more than, like f11 or even f16 okay or f8 at least so that would not be too much of a problem what could be a problem for landscape photographer is vignetting. There is not much, but there is a bit. And uh, it doesn't seem to disappear, although I close the aperture. I've got it on 5.6, f8, f11. So uh, same thing for street photography. I don't think it's any problem, but for landscape, yeah, I think it is. So uh, for uh, landscape photographer who wanted that kind of lens, I'd, it's probably not the best lens for that. But anyway, I think this is not a lens thought for landscape photography more for street photography anyway okay 
let's speak about flare. Well, this lens is everything or nothing, okay? Uh, or you don't have any flare, you don't have the typical small line of flare or small dot, okay? I don't really see that, okay? But when you have the sun that is uh, really next to your, uh, the limit of your frame, just above it or on the side, uh, then you really have light rushing in, okay? Really, like this. Nothing, uh, uh, nothing really soft, okay? It really gets in. Some people will say this is horrible, and some people will, will say it is great, it is really vintage look. So it really depends on you. I just warn you that if your idea is to have many pictures with the sun in front of you, be aware that is the look you will get, okay? If you are not pointing at the sun all the time, not doing sunset all the time or this, probably you will not even be bothered by that. Although you have the sunshade, this will not stop this uh, really massive light effect when you have uh, the sun in the front, okay? But to me, this is not a problem. So some people, it is. It's not a problem, not because I like this uh, rush of light, simply because I don't do normally picture pointing at the sun. So that's it, okay? So, but I think you need to be aware of that, okay? I just forgot to speak about distortion. I think distortion is really controlled. Uh, it's acceptable. There is some, but I think it is acceptable, okay? The weight is 130 grams, by the way. So I think this lens is compact, not really heavy, full metal, really nice. Uh, the focusing ring is really uh, nice. It's smooth, not too stiff, not too loose. It's nice. I would like to have clicks that would be a bit stronger, okay? But still, I think this is great lens. The look of this lens is really different from the 28mm 5.6 by Leica and by uh, TT Artisan. They are different. The other one really have a more vintage look. I think this one maybe looks a bit more modern. It's down to you. Uh, some people think, for me, the most important part is the result. And some people think, I want a lens to look so great on a, on, on a camera that doesn't really matter if the lens is not as good or if it's a lot better, better, okay? But, so it depends on you, okay? For me, I think it's nice, I like it. It's true that the other one, uh, Leica and uh, TT Artisan are really more uh, look vintage look okay by the way many people think that TT Artisan and 7 Artisan is the same brand it is not they have nothing to do with each other although they use the word artisan which is a common word okay so they have nothing to do with each other their product are different everything is different okay so would I recommend this lens it's simple if you need a lens uh, 28 millimeter and you're going to use it from time to time and you're not sure if you will like this focus lens length, you want to practice with it, I think this is a good idea to get this. If you are a 28 millimeter user and you have the budget, probably you will prefer to buy directly uh, the Leica 5, uh, 28 millimeter 5.6. Although uh, it is 10 times more expensive than this, I think it is not 10 times better, but it may be this 1.5 better is something that is worth it for you and you feel i can afford it i want it i get it some people think this is a crazy completely crazy to put a lens that is not leica on a leica camera this is their opinion it's completely respectable okay but if you feel uh 28 millimeter is the focal length you like uh, and you like the look of the picture you like the look of the lens on your camera and you don't want to spend a fortune, I think this is the way to go. You will save a lot of money, whether this one or the TT Artisan one. Many people will ask Eric, what's the difference between each other? Well, on some point, one is maybe better and the other one is maybe better. So it depends. I think overall, they're really, really similar. I would put it down to the way it looks more on the quality, but the quality is good on both, okay? So, uh, and the price is really similar too. So honestly, I can recommend both, but right now I'm presenting this one. I said this one is really recommendable too, knowing the limit I've explained and knowing that uh, maybe you don't want to spend that much on the uh, original true Leica. You don't think it's worth it, maybe for the quality difference or because uh, simply it's not a focal length you use a lot. So yes, completely recommendable. No doubt, I like it, I used it, I will uh, keep using it, okay? And I will also use other I've got, okay? By the way, I also have a 35 millimeter F2 by 7 Artisan. I bought it myself several years ago. Uh, I never reviewed it, I don't know why I was going to do it. And then uh, I didn't have uh, that many people that were uh, so interested as now. Many people start and ask and ask and more and more. So I will review it. So 
please seven artisan don't send me the 35 millimeter f2 for leica m mount but please send me other lenses because many people ask me for your products your lenses for uh, not only just m mount but other mounts also so i will be really pleased to review them so if you're interested i'll leave you a link in the description where you can buy it okay so thank you so much to you for watching the video if you feel it mentions other people please share it on social networks if you have not done it yet please subscribe to my youtube channel small button down here and also small bell if you click on the bell get notified when i upload a new video my website ericgibo.com if you have any questions can leave a comment below I'll also leave you links of Margie on Amazon, links of everything I've reviewed by KF Concept and Sandmark, and also a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. You can also do it on every video I have on YouTube. There's a small heart with the dollar sign, and you can make a donation there. Obviously, no obligation whatsoever. It helps, but not everyone wants or can or will or would or whatever you want to say. It. But I thank everyone for watching the video anyway. So please take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye.